What's up, my beautiful, lovely chosen ones, you guys? Check this out. As long as you are doing what they want you to do, they love you. But the minute you start doing better than them, they don't love your ass no more. Check this out. As long as you are walking down that same path, falling, walking through that same hole as everybody else, being like everybody else, doing what everybody else is doing, everybody loves you. As long as you are struggling, chosen ones, reaching out for help, for help from the people that are around you, asking for help, needing support, needing guidance, maybe needing to borrow some money, maybe needing a ride from these people, just needing their help. The fact that you need their help and you got to go to them, they love you. The fact that you're allowing your family to, to run your life, to live your life for you, to tell you what type of life you're supposed to have, to tell you what type of career that you are supposed to follow, to tell you how to feel, how to live your life, how to spend your holidays, how you should travel. As long as you are doing what they want you to do, then they love you. As long as you are struggling, feeling bad about yourself, self-sabotaging yourself, being unhappy, not knowing yourself, continuously falling back down, not knowing how to get back up, allowing all the wrong people in your presence, allow all these people to feed off your energy, allow all these people to walk all over you and use you, allowing certain people in your life to abuse you, letting people talk to you crazy, chosen ones, as long as you are doing bad and as long as you are doing what they want you to do, they love you. If you keep doing what they want you to do, they love you. They love you, but you're not loving yourself when you feel like this. You're not putting yourself first and you're not loving yourself, but they love you. And a lot of people are living like this chosen ones because they feel that as long as my family love me, I'm good. But what about the love for yourself? What about the life you want for yourself? Because I'm going to tell you this, the moment you decide to do better than them, the moment you decide to pick yourself back up, the moment that you decide to go within yourself and put in work and do shadow work and find yourself and put yourself first and start to rise up and do better than them, that's the moment they don't love your ass no more, chosen ones. When you are doing better than them, they don't love you no more. They love you while you're down. They love you while you struggle. They love you while you're down and out. They love you when you depend on them. They want you to be dependent on them. As long as you are dependent on them. And as long as you are doing what they tell you to do. And as long as you are down. They love you. But the moment you're doing better than them. You might as well be prepared. If you ain't already experienced this. The moment you are doing better than them. They don't love you no more. Say, hey, they don't even want nothing to do with you no more. They, they just like kick you to the curb. And you're probably thinking like, damn, I thought you loved me. Yeah, because you were doing bad and you were doing what they wanted you to do. Celebrating the holiday the way they want you to celebrate it. Doing, living a career, you know, that they created for you. They living through you. And they love you when you're struggling and dependent on them, but they don't love you when you do better than them. So they love you as long as you're not doing better than them. So if you want the people around you who are, uh, if you are someone who is experiencing this, and you, and you know this resonates to you. And you want these people around. Just know they only love you while you're down. And you're doing what they want you to do. Just know the moment you choose to do and put yourself first and be better than them. Do better than them. They're not going to love you no more. Bro. They're not going to accept you no more. The moment you start to walk down a different path and allow your uniqueness to shine and live your life for yourself and put yourself first and love yourself and walk down your own path, that one narrow ass path that many people are not walking down, the, the path that 1% of people are walking down. The moment you start to create your own tradition, your own holidays, and the moment you're not dependent on these people no more, and the moment you follow your own goals and dreams and follow what your heart desires, and you start doing better for yourself, and you pick yourself back up, and you're not struggling no more, the moment you start doing something different, 
and you start doing better than them, they're not going to love you no more. Straight up like that, message to someone. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Straight up like that. This was a short video, a message to someone out there, you guys, because many people are experiencing this on this planet. And maybe it's you, you guys. Whoever this is, just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. It's the truth. In order for you to be able to rock with these people in your life, if you are someone who experiences, in order for you to rock with these people in your life, you got you to gotta be like them. You can't do better than them, yo. You are not. They won't love you. They won't accept you anymore. So you just got to walk away and know that it is what it is. And walk down that path where you can be unique, live life, find joy and happiness, and find that truth about life. And why you came here. Man, I love you guys. Like this video if you like this video so we can get this video through the YouTube algorithm and reach out to more chosen ones, star seeds, light workers. I love each and every one of you, man. Feel free to drop down any comments down below in the com comment section. Check this out, you guys. Comment down below. I am unique. I choose my own path. I choose to walk away. I choose to do better than them. Because I choose me. You feel me? I choose me. You got to put yourself first, man. I love you. Y'all come back to see me because Miss Kelly Travis Bridge is checking out. Much love.